So it's no proxy. If I show you my burp suite, um, I can configure under proxy if you notice here options. This is configured to go through 127001, which means local IP and uh, port is 8080. If I configure this on my proxy settings, right here, preferences, right? So I can configure this one, 127001, So now my traffic, my traffic go, should go through proxy server. This is my proxy server, right? So here I'm going to do a small uh, change. So intercept, which means you can intercept on incoming and outgoing traffic. I'm going to switch off this. So we will switch on and have a look during our web traffic, web security. But as of now, I would like to show you this one. Let me just go and have a look in one of the websites here. I'm just taking random online website, anything. So what happened is I'm sending this traffic through a Burp Suite. Burp Suite is a proxy server. If you have a look here, Burp Suite, now I'm open up, opening up Burp Suite, right? If you go to target, here we are, right? So this traffic has gone through the burp suite. And the good thing is you can even expand other. You could see uh, there are certain other sites. In gray color, which means it's not the, uh, the main site. So these other sites are having small components which are connected to the uh, our main website. But using burp suite, I, I can see the folder structure. Right, so this is my the this is the folder structure in uh, Burp Suite. Right, so it's uh, hopefully it's a, a Joomla based website. You would see the Joomla structure. Right, so you would see images and all that. So in this way, you can understand uh, the content of the website. So right, so and also you would see the cookie information since it's going through a uh, Burp Suite. So let's talk about this under session hijacking, but as of now, I think you understand uh, uh, this site structure. So it's again important to understand site structure because then we can have a look there and we know what is the structure and the folder structure and the location and all that. And one more thing I would like to show you is now under the island, if I type slash and robots.txt, it would show me robots txt file here we are so this structure shows now what is robots.txt it's a text file commonly you can find out almost any website including let's say let's say microsoft.com microsoft.com uh, and i'm going to say uh, slash robots.txt so this text file contains information to crawlers Crawlers are the ones that I was explaining under Google search. So crawlers are small algorithms or programs that going through each and every website. And then whenever you design a site, you keep this robots.txt file to uh, instruct crawlers what areas that they should crawl and what areas they shouldn't be crawling, right? So here you would see allow and disallow resist here allow. So these folders are allowed for crawlers to uh, access and disallowed lists are not allowed to access, which means they can have certain sensitive information which uh, Microsoft don't want crawlers to have on their cache, right? So, but but the good thing is for attackers or security professionals, it's really good uh, the pace, the place or location to understand the site structure, right? So I think you understand this part, right? And then there are certain other um, uh, web spiders where you can uh, uh, extract the webs, uh, web, web